This review is brought to you by BATOYSFORBABOYS.COM, your number one source for all your Mega Box needs. Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. In Terra Bang Halo Mega Box, set number 97011, Warthog Resistance. This set includes 285 pieces, and this is the first Halo 4 themed product to be produced worldwide. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. Included with this set is a UNSC Warthog, a Forerunner structure, and three minifigures. Starting off the minifigures is the brand new Mark 7 Spartans, which are meant to resemble Master Chief. Each one of them is a completely new sculpt, and they're painted in gold for their visor, with green for the body armor, with a heavy black wash, and black for the jumpsuits. Each one of them does have a peg hole on the back of their torsos. The third and final minifigure is the Elite Zealot as it appears in Halo 4. This figure is also a completely new sculpt, and is painted in crimson for the armor, with dark gray for the jumpsuit, silver for his eyes, and blue for detailing and he does have a peg hole on the back of the torso. Weapons and accessories include a green Spartan laser, a carbine painted in a brand new indigo color, a Halo 3 assault rifle which is painted in black, as well as a brand new sticky detonator which is also in black. You also get a brand new UNSC weapons drop pod which is in the Halo 3 design. It can be opened up to reveal storage for one weapon. Here's a better look at that brand new sticky detonator. As you can see it's got some great detailing and makes a great brand new weapon for those brand new Mark 7 Spartans. The Forerunner structure is built on a medium sized desert base blade. The blocks itself are molded in a silver color as well as translucent blue. The center has a beam of plasma shooting up into the sky and the outer ring has four individual prongs which can be adjusted. Moving on to the Warthog which is a completely new design modeled off the Halo 4 version. It's primarily using green, silver, and black blocks. Stickers include caution logos and vehicle detailing, UNSC eagles, battle damage, and various other vehicle detailing. Throughout the Warthog, there's multiple brand new elements such as roll cage bars, a floodlight, new shielding on the turret, new wheels and hubcaps, as well as a lowering ramp on the back of the Warthog, which has four gas canisters. The cab does have an adjustable steering wheel, and you can see two minifigures. The machine gun turret can rotate 360 degrees around, and it can also pivot up and down. All four wheels of the Warthog can rotate individually, and each one of them has its own individual suspension. So for being the first Halo 4 product to be readily available, I'm quite impressed with what Mega Brands has come up with. It's got some great elements, and it's definitely something every Mega Box fan should own. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video.